as we mentioned earlier, today is the solemnity of the Annunciation. A famous depiction of the angel Gabriel's appearance to Mary is found at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Earlier, I spoke with an art historian to get her perspective. Joining us now is Jem Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Jem, welcome back. Always so great to see you. Uh, so tell us about the solemnity of the Annunciation in art. Sure, Tracy. Good to see you, too. The whole of salvation history revolves around the Annunciation of the Archangel Gabriel to Mary, recorded in St. Luke's Gospel. And through the centuries, artists have sought to capture this gospel moment in hymns, paint, stone, mosaic and stained glass. In the Renaissance, we see many beautiful images that are visual homilies on the Annunciation. This altarpiece panel by Jan van Eyck, completed around 1434, is perhaps one of the most beautiful Annunciation scenes ever painted. In this extraordinary work, the artist captures that sacred moment when Jesus begins his earthly life in the womb of his mother Mary, who says yes to God's plan of salvation. And Jim, what do we see in this masterpiece painting from the National Gallery of Art? Sure, on the left, we see the Archangel Gabriel, face framed with delicate golden curls and dressed in an ornate jeweled robe with brightly colored wings, announcing to Mary that the Holy Spirit will overshadow her and she will bear Jesus, the Son of God, into the world. Notice the precious stones and gold painted on the Archangel Gabriel's crown and cape. And as we look closer, we see Gabriel's greeting, Hail, full of grace, written in Latin in words coming out of the angel's mouth. And then Mary's response, I am the handmaid of the Lord, is written in words also in Latin, but now in reverse and upside down, as if to suggest that God from up above is listening to Mary's yes. God is receiving Mary's fiat as the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove gently descends on Mary in a ray of divine light. Mary is enfolded in blue robes and two details in front of her are significant. The lilies evoke the purity of her immaculate conception and the book of scripture reminds us that God's word was always close to Mary's heart and mind as the word of God took flesh in Mary at the Annunciation. And Jim, what are some of the takeaways for us with this beautiful image? Tracy, we notice that Mary's head is inclined to the Archangel Gabriel and her hands are raised in a gesture of prayer. At the Annunciation, Mary shows the church how to hear God's word and how to respond with our yes, just as Mary did. Mary is full of grace, and with God's grace, she overcomes her fears and doubts with complete trust and faith in God. And Mary is teaching us to do the same. You know, what happened at the Annunciation is truly beyond our human imagining, as God gently breaks into human history in the eternal Word made flesh. And artists like Van Eyck spared no effort to depict the radiant beauty of this miraculous moment, a visual reminder that God continues to speak a divine word of love even today. Well, Jim, thank you so much for coming on and sharing that with us. We really appreciate it. Jim Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Thank you again, Jim. Thank you, Tracy.